Hey there, just thought I'd do a quick uh, video, uh, explain a few things about uh, things I've seen in the mainstream media regarding uh, near misses with uh, supposed drone aircraft. Now, I'm a pilot of a DJI Phantom 3 Professional, and what it is is that uh, we use a system called Lightbridge, where you got the controller, which looks just like a normal radio control contro uh, system that the, the uh, handset that the, the, the normal guys use. Bars is more sleeker, of course, and we actually connect up to our mobile phone or tablet device. As I've got here's my iPad uh, Air. What I thought I'd do is show you the app. We just click on uh, DJI Go there, and there you can see that's the Phantom 3 Professional. Now, if I just go into camera view, well, naturally, you're not going to see anything on the camera because presently the uh, drone is uh, out of range, let's put it that way, um, and not only that, it's shut down. Uh, just sort of basically show you the b basic controls. You've got your usual um, uh, takeoff and landing that you can get the system to start itself and uh, take off, and then hovers roughly about four and a half feet off the deck. Uh, your home point, compass, speed, uh, distance, etc. Uh, across the top would be GPS to do with the um, uh, global positioning of wh where it works out where it is uh, when it's hovering. And in flight, uh, down the side here is camera controls, well, they're mostly self explanatory. Right, the thing I wanted to show you really was this surprise, surprise, yes, it's a map. I know what you're thinking, but that's not what I was really on about. Now, if I zoom out, it's these things. Now, as you can see, that's a no go symbol, and the reason it's a no go symbol is because that is. Uh, London Oxford Airport, uh, which is just uh, up the road from here. And if I just zoom out again, surprise, surprise, we have more. Yes, uh, all these are restricted areas. So basically, anything, anytime, if I was to go with my system right now, and if I just scroll up towards home base, that's Coventry Airport. Now, if I was to go up to Coventry Airport right now with my system and try and fly in, try flying it over the airfield or basically within range of the, of the uh, fence line, yep, you guessed it, it's not going to happen, uh, which is quite an advantage. Now, here's the problem. Not all sites like that are actually um, restricted. I'll give you an example. This is Birmingham International, uh, 21 miles roughly from my home base. As you can see, no restrictions. Question, why? Uh, I haven't really checked more on the UK map. But I actually spotted this yesterday. So, unfortunately, if any of uh, my fellow uh, drone pilots were to use their one brain cell and think, I'm going to go up there and then fly across the uh, airfield. Yeah, you got woods and that all the way around. You can fly it in there. But nobody in their right mind would actually fly in that particular area or for that matter any restricted area but here's a way i would actually get around it now as you can see here i can create what is called a geofence which is basically tells the drone that it either sticks within an area or i could actually stop it from getting inside an area so let's do an example say for example i'm here yeah right what I'm going to do, for example, let's just say I'm about a mile or so away from the airfield and I want to only fly in there. That is what you call a geofence. Uh, what happens is if the drone is in there, uh, it will only fly within that boundary. The programming is such that the system realizes, yes, there's a uh, restriction, can't go any further. End of story. Right, we'll get rid of that because I don't particularly want that on the screen. But the concern I've got is, let's click that off, that and other areas. I need to check this more because if you've got sites like this that are, aren't, are, are not restricted, that explains why you're getting drones or other aircraft of similar nature flying over the airfields and causing uh, near misses. Naturally, as I've mentioned, Coventry and even the big ones north and south uh, to past Oxford and even down towards Heathrow itself and I can give an example as soon as I can find a blasted thing there you go 
that's Heathrow. And yep, that's got a, for some unknown reason, that's got a double restriction on that. You'd think one would be enough, but no, down in London, they had to go one better, don't they? So, the thing is, this is not only DGI that are doing this, all the manufacturers of uh, UAVs, drone aircraft that are off the shelf, uh, that people like myself can fly, will have software very similar, but will be acting on a similar idea. Uh, areas like airports and that are no-go, military bases are definitely no-go, especially if you don't want to, uh, especially if you want to avoid jail time. But there are, as I just pointed out, uh, errors where you have got systems, uh, situations where you can actually fly over certain airports. Yes, it's dangerous, and I'm hoping that uh, DJI and the others actually uh, uh, catch on to this and get, get them corrected soon. Um, if you are thinking of actually taking up the, um, the actual uh, pastime, what I would suggest is... Go on to YouTube and look for a uh, uh, a guy called Irix guy or Irix guy, depending on how you want to say it. That's I R I X G U Y. Now, uh, he's a guy that has done a lot of um, uh, investigation work into uh, drone aircraft and uh, the technical side, uh, how to fly them, the safest way to fly them, uh, what you do, what you don't do etc etc and he has a mine he has a large selection of fantastic videos for anybody to uh, check I'll just show you save time wouldn't it right here we go Eric Sky's adventure channel is what you need to be looking for and as you can see he does live streaming now uh, he's got videos on the Phantom 3 the Phantom 2 the Phantom 2 Vision Plus the absolutely massive kitty cat that he's got. Yeah, okay. <sighs> and other such technology. Check him out. Uh, he is a uh, good source of information for all things technical, whether it be cameras uh, that he's uh, tried, boats, uh, the phantoms, and other such things. And speaking of uh, DJI... There's their website, there's their uh, channel as well. Um, if you're uh, looking at uh, joining, it is a safe, it is a safe uh, pastime. Uh, naturally, use your head, uh, be safe, uh, be courteous for anybody that's out there uh, that when you're flying, and um, above all, have fun. See you in the skies.